Hello, everybody. I'm back with my second VOD review. Hopefully, this will be a little bit better than my first one. Um, if I remember correctly, this one was a closer game. Um, and today, I will be uh, reviewing my very good friend, The Great Haley. Um, just as an FYI, she is streaming during this. So um you will see her face on screen uh you will hear a lot of extra talking outside of what's going on in the game which is totally fine um but i like to preface that so people aren't like what am i watching what's going on why is there a purple haired girl on the screen but i'm hearing the voice of an apple Jew? yeah that's why so um anyway this was a pickup game that we had uh we got 12 folks together and uh i was again on the enemy team so we will be seeing uh the perspective of the great haley playing against my team and uh, uh hopefully be able to maybe give some advice some things like that um i am a uh person who fo goes by the philosophy that uh teams need to be filled um you need to play characters that you don't necessarily are good at just so that you can get better with them. The, the, the wider, I, I am a, a jack of all trades proponent personally. Um, I feel like maining a certain character can only really get you so far and um, flexible players will always be a more valuable asset to the team than an inflexible player and tends to lead to less toxicity, frustration, saltiness, and things like that. Um, so without much further ado, uh, I will take you on over to the VOD and we will see what is going on here in the Blizzard world. All right, let us go full screen. All righty. No, this is worse. This is much worse. It's fine. Um, does anybody well, else want to be Widow? Or not Widow, Mercy? I'll be Mercy. Because I, like, uh, I don't mind doing it, but I'm just saying if somebody else wanted to turn to do her, I... I can do off healer and I'll play Anna. Okay. okay. I cannot oh, Anna for the life of me. Yeah, so good, good, good. You followed. You didn't sub, but it's okay. Uh, any kind of support is always welcome. So. <laughs> what? What do you want to go? And then oh, she's far up and there's two tanks. So it's up I to you. think. I can't tank. So. And a Riss <laughs> or a Rain will be gangster. Okay. I'll Alrighty, so I'm just gonna pause it here real quick, uh, see what the comp looks like. Um, so it's a little weird that they considered Anna an off healer. Uh, she is technically a, a main healer, um, but uh, she is a difficult char uh, character to learn. She's probably the hardest support to learn how to use, and um, but she can out heal most healers and. The only issue with her is that she has a very um, huge lack of mobility and ability to kind of get out of sticky situations. Um, her sleep dart is extremely hard to hit. And um, if you don't know how to aim, you're going to have trouble healing people. Um, but we have a very legitimate comp here. Uh, we are defending on Blizzard World. We have two main healers, uh, Mercy and Anna, so people should be able to stay up. Um, we have a main tank and Orisa. We have an off tank with a Diva, and actually, I, I'm okay with that combo. I think that's a good combo. Uh, Diva's just got to be, uh, we'll have to just play a little bit more passive than normal um, because she doesn't have her normal cast of characters that can really peel for her to get out of uh, really bad situations. Uh, DPS-wise, we've got a Junkrat and a Mei. Uh, which is actually a very good uh, combination unless you get hit with like a Pharah or something like that. Um, but uh, May is very viable on defense and Junkrat, of course, is also very viable on defense and is honestly pretty viable on a lot of things. So uh, I like it. I like this composition. Let's, let's see how it goes. Oh, you, I cannot play Arisa or Ryan, but I got you. Oh, can you play any uh, an off tank? Yeah, can you, like, can you play Zarya? Or, like, uh, yeah. Roadhog? May best girl. Oh, um, guys, those of you who are new in here, so I can I, you can check out my Twitter. Okay, I'm gonna just see if I can rewind that just a smidge. Let's see, 302. I wanna see that. She hit tab real fast there. There we go. Okay. 
So they, they switched up a little bit. Um, ooh, okay, they are going one of my absolute favorite comps right now. That's the Ryan Zarya, which is extremely powerful in this new meta. Um, it's extremely powerful because of Brigitta, and they're not running a Brigitta, which is fine. Um, it's still an extremely effective uh, tank combination and can really work well with the team that they have because the Zarya can grab with the Junkrat uh, tire. Um, so I still, I really like this. This is still a very good comp, um, and, uh, can do a lot of delaying and can really keep people off the point for a long time. So let's see how it goes. And Twitter and like, Same. and, like and retweet my tweet. No, I want to go arrest her. Tell so your friends, your family, strangers, you know, let them know you're watching somebody great. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or the horde. Okay, I want to by the great Haley. Bra Bra Haley. Streams brought to you by the Great Haley. Great Enterprises great condones Haley. this message. Many streams brought to you by Multi Twitch. Okay, do you guys want to set up a pair? Yeah, like I said first, they drop okay. down. Drop down with them. Okay, so when when we say drop down, drop down. Like I repeat that voice, so she don't right have side. to do that anymore with the full time business. What do you? What do you? I always if won't say that. I like saying that whole that. spiel. That's but a fun no. spiel to say. Go and like between the messages. Make sure it's friends, top strangers, right. and the internet. Here with us. Our top level. Look at these torches. All right. All right, so we have a little bit of ADD, and um, which is okay. <laughs> Haley is very well known for having a lot of fun, no matter what. Um, but your tanks are up here on the high ground, and everybody else is everywhere, everywhere else. So you're a little spread apart. Um, I personally am not a humongous fan of being on this high ground here, personally. Um, I just, I've lost so many point A's trying to hold up here. People either come around this way and then force you to fight on point in a situation that you don't want to be in. Um, I also, uh, I noticed that they changed from Reinhardt to Orisa, and I'm not a huge fan of that switch either. Um, Trash Panda here is going to have a lot of trouble getting ult, or getting ult charge as well as getting um, just charge in general off of... Um, bubbling Orisas and things like that. But we'll see how it goes. But right now the team is a little spread apart. It's a little haphazard. I, this is gonna look a little, I, I have a feeling this isn't gonna go super duper well, but let's see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> I'm popping their balloons. Suck. They'll never see it coming. Ow, that's rude. rude. So I think they're playing Ryan. Yeah, they're playing Ryan's area. Ouch. Alright, to point, to point, to point. I think they're on point, yeah. they're on point, get on point, get on point. All right, so those are some really good callouts right there. Um, we saw that they were up on the high ground. Um, I am actually playing the enemy Zarya on this one. My good friend White Star is on the Reinhardt here. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, those were some really good callouts that we were headed to point, uh, alerting the rest of the team to get off the high ground and to collapse onto point and to fight on point. How do I get out of this room? You do. Oh, Junkrat low, Junkrat one. Damn it. Sorry, I was trying to separate them. That was a good try of trying to separate us. Um, that is one of May's big. Um, um, abilities is the ability to split the team in half, maybe keep the supports from being able to heal the tanks, things like that. So that was a good call to try and do that. Um, right now, things are still looking okay for you. Everyone is at decent health. I can't see what your health is at, unfortunately. Um, but for right now, everything is looking good. Uh, but yeah, there, we're starting to collapse on the point, and we'll see how well you guys are able to hold it here. Do it anyway, guys. Do it anyway. Oh, I'm pins. I'm dead. Yeah. Well, we have a we have a soldier top top behind us. All right. So that was unfortunate. You guys are down one, and we just revived our junk rat there. So uh, things are looking pretty bad for y'all right now. Um, but let's see how it keeps going here. Oh, this is, this is the new the pink mercy skin. That was talking about earlier. 
Yeah, oh. baby. Oh. Got rezzed. Let's see There's if still you. There's soldier behind you guys. There's still soldier behind you guys. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. Damn it! I got the mercy, but I'm dead. It's all good. I got solid ah, pitch. Left. I wish I had something half as creative. I keep thinking about like bringing back that when I get new follows, like Who's what kind of pizza would you be? Uh, I guess people talking. So I mean, I guess like that's something. Yeah, I mean we can just give it. So uh, right there, um, uh, you did what you could do there, um, and. You are doing a fairly decent job of not charging up the Zarya too much. Um, you recognize after you f you right click the Zarya bubble that you then kind of try to aim away from it. Um, ultimately, that was that that fight was not your fault. Um, that was just um, it was a really really close fight when you look at that. Uh, there was only I think Zarya and one other player left on the point, and we somehow that th they were able to somehow secure the point with that. So uh, definitely not your fault. Um, right now, I am liking for the most part your positioning and what you're trying to do here. So um, yeah, let's we're just uh, see what's happening. Yeah, one's dead. Yeah, I died. Oh, okay. So, I you meant, like, no. no. No, no, no. Pull back. Ooh. Nice wall. Oh, for Draco. I'm sorry. It's okay. Ooh. It's okay. Someone res me. Someone res me. <laughs> if only. Much better. Take that energy. I'm gonna die. Stop hitting oh, me! Fine, <laughs> My star, please. So that was Gutsy, uh, trying to run up to a uh, Reinhardt and try and freeze him. Um, I like the gutsiness, um, but I think as May, you either have to try and stay behind the Orisa shield here or stay behind your Zarya, um, or be that sneaky May who tries to go around the side and does cheeky little walls and things like that. Um, unfortunately, um, it didn't work out trying to rush into the Rhine. That Rhine was like literally one HP though. So I don't know if he made it out of this alive. We're going to find out on the kill feed here in a second though. Oh, I'm gonna save you. Okay, I'm back. The chat was loading. Korean. Oh, that was unlucky. He did not charge to kill you. He charged to try and get back with his team and you just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. So unlucky there, but you were still pushed up a little far. Um, even though, you know, may has some survivability stuff. Um, it still tends to be safer to play behind your tanks. If you can. Wasn't, it wasn't letting, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But welcome back. Oh, chat just refreshed for me. I have been officially welcomed back to my own chat room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't kill him, but okay. Guys, help. Guys, can I just? I have a Okay, I like this. Um, now, unfortunately, you're down one. Uh, your Zarya is down right now, um, but you are doing the 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 devil may things right now you are trying to sneak around on the high ground you have ult right now um you can almost single-handedly stop this push that the enemy team is making here let's see what happens thank you ziggy the man for that he's host purple, he's purple. soldier purple on the back Okay, okay. Uh, interesting place to try and use the ult there. Um, in some ways, I feel like this fight should already be won for you guys. Um, we'll see how it goes from here. They just res the Rhine, but uh, using your ult here just feels kind of like a waste of an ult. Um, when the fight is already feels like it's won or it's lost, then try to refrain from using your ultimate uh, so that you can use it for a fight that is is still up in the air kind of thing, if that makes any sense. But they let's are. see what happens. Okay, I think I'm going to that. No. Mercy is so yeah, freaking low. Come here. Okay, you're getting a little too 
laser focused on one thing. I think you have a Reinhardt swinging at you right now. You've got all sorts of things happening to you and you are just laser focused on the mercy. Not that that's a bad thing, but when you are in the middle of the enemy team, you should probably focus on staying alive and getting back to your team rather than just trying to kill the mercy. But let's see what happens. Okay, that was good. You kind of were like, yeah, I'm in a bad spot. Oh, yeah, so right there, um, you probably shouldn't have focused that mercy so much. Um, it allowed their Reinhardt to just focus you down and obliterate you. Uh, so he just did a hammer down. Let's see what it does. What's up, man? Let's see. Oh, that shield was. You're doing just fine. Uh, but no, le legitimately, you are playing just fine. There's just a few little tiny mistakes that are being made, and it's nothing huge. Um, you're not single handedly losing the game for the team. Um, and you're not a carry either, but I mean, no one in this game should really feel like they're carrying their team anyway, and it doesn't feel like it is anyway. So, uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Let's see how it keeps going now. Um, Ow. <laughs> oh. Trying to get their Anna. Right, left, right side, done. Yep, I'm done. They're gonna Got get him. out. Ooh. Damn it. Okay, not sure why you decided to shoot that Zarya bubble right there, but um, I think every time you shoot a Zarya bubble with your right click, you're giving her like a good 10 to 20 charge there. So. Um, that means she's gonna have a lot more damage to do to you. So be careful when you're shooting those bubbles Try not to if you can I know it's hard to refrain from shooting the enemy, but yeah um, Try to let's try to refrain from that now looking at the kill feed you guys have killed the enemy junk rat But your mercy is down um, When your mercy goes down like that and they are literally 1.9 meters away from uh, getting this point I think it's it, it becomes time to just say I think this point is lost back away regroup get your mercy back into the fight and then get ready for your next team fight okay. Well, let's see what happens Fucking like out of it Right oh, I couldn't kill him he killed himself Get away from me you nerds <laughs> uh, I'm leaving for free come on <laughs> Actually, you know what? Ooh. We made it out. Okay, let's see what you've decided to do here. You went Farah. Um, I remember this, and I remember you were actually doing pretty well as Farah. I know you don't have a lot of time on Farah, but um, it's it's going to be a tough one. You do have the en the enemy team does have a Soldier seventy six um, and an Anna, so. Those two there might pose some issues for you, but all in all, Farah is a very good uh, choice against this kind of tank combo, as well as with a Junkrat. Um, you don't have a ton of threats that you have to deal with here. So let's see how it goes. Oh. No! <laughs> Let me see if Oh, okay. Man, we gotta kill Apple. We have to yeah, no, get him down. Right. We could try focusing Apple and then... <clears throat> Okay, that's a that's a feels good man. You guys are so worried about me that you really just want to kill me uh, <laughs> I really don't think I'm doing that much uh, for the team, but um, it is a feels good man uh, You're doing a great job on Farah, by the way. You are using your platforms. You are using all of your Different cover that you can use here so you can kind of poke around shoot a couple rockets poke back uh, makes it really difficult for the enemy soldier uh, to focus fire you as um, you are raining hell from above and then the rest of the team is pressuring him from the front. So this is very, very good. I like this a lot. Let me actually heal people. Stop being a... <laughs> <laughs> you pull him off nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
All right, so unfortunate. Looks like uh, this is, I remember this part where I got hooked off the edge. Um, but you have just lost your healer, your main healer of um, uh, Anna on her mercy. So this fight is looking a little rough right now, um, but we the enemy team is down a tank, so you might be able to hold here. Let's see what happens. Yep. I'm sorry. Izzy. I picked on? Uh, what are you allergic to? Cigarettes? Oh, dang. Are you sure you want to No, don't go too far! Alright, I got you. I got you. Oh, go too far. Go too far. Go too far. Go too far. Go get him. Go get him. Careful. Oh, Alright, so this is good. Um... Now, the soldier's uh, ult is just absolutely obliterating your team right now. I like that you recognize that he pops sights here, and you're trying to hide into a cubby corner here so you don't get killed. Um, although, looking at this, with how everybody on the team is dead right now, uh, from the looks of it, uh, it might actually be better if you just die and respawn here, so you can respawn with your team. Um which is a little bit of a counterintuitive thing. Usually you want to be like, I don't don't want to, you want to die as little as possible, but you also don't want to be separated from your team. Um, but uh, ultimately your Farah doesn't look horrible. Um, it does look like you need um, practice with um, controlling her flight. Um, it looks like you're just holding down right click or space bar. And so you're not staying up in the air as long as you could be if you kind of feathered it a little bit more. Um, but I like your, you know, shot placement. I do think Farah is being more effective here than May was. So, um, let's see how this fight turns out. Pretty certain you guys are going to lose this fight, but let's see how fast you guys can get back, um, on the payload for the next fight. Sorry. Oh, I'm dead. Um, <laughs> I have ult, uh... Fucking hell. Yeah, you're in a bad spot here. So um, you were very close to finishing off Soldier there, but as soon as he put his heal station down, um, your fight got super duper hard. You're also Farah inside of a closed in space. So you can't fly up. You can't fly back to your team. You're in a really bad spot here. Now, granted, you being in this room fighting um, Soldier, Mercy, Hanzo, uh, or Anna, or whoever the heck that is there, is good. You have literally pulled half the team off the payload here. Um, so you're giving the rest of your team a decent chance to be able to get back into the fight. So actually, you know, I, I don't like it, but then I kind of do like uh, what you're doing here. So let's see what happens. Okay, okay you die. That's unfortunate. Wow, what a nerd. He ults me. <laughs> oh, I only have one hair time. Ow. Oh, shit, sorry. I don't even... Uh, no. I can't paint. I can't deal with that. I like, I don't even know how to... Oh. Derek, thank you for the host. Ooh, Messed ooh, it on point. Ooh, ooh. Kill Tom. To... <laughs> oh. Deal with the Ryan... Ow. 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 I'm not getting me. Apple Jew. I saw nice. Damn it! Deluxe Z! Get on point. point no, point. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm gonna die. No, I died. No, I'm dead. Oh. Apple's low. Damn it. Uh, Haley's my face streamer. All the things. I appreciate it. So that was good. That was a good fight. Okay. Uh, let, okay, I, I don't sleep. necessarily need to See pause here. Bye, Fanny. Have a good sleep, dude. Thank Get you so much for stopping by. I'm on point. I'm raising Willy. Oh. Yeah, I... If we can get him into overtime, that's fine. Damn it! I flew off of it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So that was a good try. That was a good try. But if you see there, we were able to push the payload all the way around the corner while you were stuck in that room with those other folks. Um, if you had died sooner um, and regrouped with your team, you might have been able to have a better 
team fight before this finished here. But ultimately, this was actually a really good defense. Your Farah really is not that bad. You have pretty good aim. You're able to like switch targets fairly quickly and get fairly accurate rockets onto people. So um, I actually really do like how how you play Farah. I think you play Farah fairly well. And it's just a matter of learning positioning, uh, when to go in, when to, to, to pull back to your team, and uh, when to die. Um, that's one thing that I think a lot of people at the lower levels don't do is that if your team has lost the fight, you just need to hurry up and die. Um, either die on the payload so you can stall the payload or just just die so you can respawn with the rest of your team and uh, get together another push to push back. So um, that was your defense. We're going to see how well you guys do on the attack yeah, next. So let's see what happens there. Okay, I'm gonna run um, to the bathroom real quick. Yeah, no, okay. Save, save, I really need the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have time! It, I had to check Streamlabs myself to do it. <laughs> yeah, Anna, how do you have it auto... Anna left. What? Anna left. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Shoot to the bathroom, just give her a second. Oh, wait, do you use Streamlabs OBS, uh, uh, Haley? No. Oh. I use no. OBS Studios. Okay. Streamlabs uh, OBS, I just didn't like when I tried to use it. So, I... This is, yeah, I'm using Streamlabs OBS today. Um, I usually use just regular Streamlabs, and I don't have any, like, announcements and stuff. But, like, Unique was like, hey, you need to have announcements and stuff. I mean, it, it's nice to have them. They're technically, excuse me, not required. Well, yeah. It's nice to get a little, hey, thanks for the host, and it shows some stuff. Yeah, I have an alert, and then I have, like, the little cap -em on thing that says stuff as well. So, I mean, um, y'all are too sweet to me. <laughs> you like turtles? Nice. Um, so, I mean, it all kind of just depends on what kind of stream that you... All right, so... Um, let's real quick look at what's going on here. Um, uh, so you've you've gone back to your roots. I know you're you're mostly a Mercy main. That's what you've played a lot of. So you're going uh, Mercy. Unique is going Zenyatta, uh, one of my favorite characters. Uh, looks like Trash Panda went Widow. Uh, Worry went um, Arissa here. Anna is still in the on a potty break and kent went torbjorn i'm really hoping he changed it i can't remember if he changed from torbjorn or not um but uh and i'm sure you know this but um torb and sim in their current um in their their current form should honestly unless you just really really enjoy playing those characters should never be picked for any kind of competitive play um, they just are not that viable and it forces your team to have to play around you. Uh, and especially on attack, Torbjorn is pretty horrible on attack. Um, but I'm not going to focus too much on Kent's, uh, play here. Um, but this is something that you might have to play around, um, going forward into this game. I'd much rather Kent go with like, uh, Junkrat or something like that, but let's see what happens. You want it to be and to have. So if you want to get like the little Kapamon that does it all for you, you can do that. If you want alerts, you can do that. Um, there's some people like Unique uses the little um, bar things that pop up. Um, so there, that's another thing that you can do. So it's not like a big alert, but it's something that still shows like, hey, I got hosted. It It's all just like what you want to do and what kind of setup you have. I'm going to get first blood. First blood. Do it. Oh, I missed his head. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I expect more from you. Uh, drop shield, Anna. Drop shield. Ow. All right. It looks like Anna went Reinhardt. So you guys would have two main tanks. You have a Reinhardt and Arissa. Uh, this can actually work pretty well. Um, so let's see how this goes. Um, oh, and he went Torbjorn. Okay. Up, keep pushing, keep pushing. Up, 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 up. We'll see how that goes. Alrighty. We'll see I'm how that, if that'll pay off or not, Cotton. I like this push. I like pushing to the high ground on the right side. Um, and then it allows you to pressure down onto them on the point. 
um or allows you to push them off the high ground. So I actually really like this play. This is one of my favorite ways of um, attacking this um, point. So let's see how well it works and if it pays off for y'all. Top right, bottom left. I'll try this for him. Okay, Mercy just folded. Mercy just folded. Mercy down. Nice. Great call out there. And then a good job of just focusing the Mercy. Um, with the Mercy down, you guys can push in because you know that they are down to just one support now. Um, I believe they're down to one support. So it's going to be very difficult for them to be able to fight this out going forward. This is down. Drop shield in it. Sorry, is this coded? Unique, please. Got Apple in the back? <laughs> That's really big. So now both the supports are down. We have a Mercy down, our Zen is down. Um, and so you guys are, you guys should be able to do, just literally walk onto point and punish us here. Um, that's what I would do here. I would just start punishing us. Um, so let's see what happens. Let's see if you guys start punishing. Yeah, go to point. Yeah, that's a good call. Go to point. Um, okay, Torb is dead. Point. Okay. Uh, how are you, Derek? No, there's a stupid. There's a there's a Bastion on point. Don't get on point. Uh, oops. Oh, Bastion's dead. Alright, cool. Dead. Let's get on point. Alright, we're on point. That Mercy's closing it. Yeah, there you go. So that was really good push there. Um, you got uh, you guys got some really good picks with the Widowmaker, your Zen, um, and eliminated the supports first, and then just collapsed in on the rest of the team. Uh, without the supports, without much in the way of shields, that Bastion couldn't do much more than just maybe kill one of you guys. So that was a very good push um, and a very good job of securing uh, point A here. Where's, where's, please. Please. Nice Give me please. Alright. No Alright, noise. noise. Oh, I got parchment, noise. so give me a second. Careful, trash. Okay. I'm doing well, Derek. I've been uh, streaming since 9 o'clock. Uh, hey, Zarya is just called a trash. Hi. Oh, fashion. <laughs> I can't see you, so there you go. I'm gonna try and flank and get uh, Apple. Cause he's sitting in the back. Nice, nice. All right, sorry about bottled up on me. Mercy's, Mercy's, uh, discorded. I'm discorded as well. Okay, let's go. Bastion's discorded. Bastion's discorded. Ooh, I'm dead. Okay, so, um, I have no idea why the Zarya is over here pressuring your poor widow, um, but it's working. One Zarya is literally pulling away your your one of your DPS. And it's pulling away your main support. And because of that, um, your Reinhardt, your Torbjorn, and your Torbjorn turret have all been obliterated by Bastion and um, Reinhardt. So that's a feels bad man there. Um, this is where you just got to keep an eye on that kill feed. If you see the majority of your team dying in the kill feed, you either need to die yourself or you need to get back to spawn as quickly as possible because this fight is more than likely lost at this point. And same goes for your widow. Your widow should be like, I need to get the heck out of here. Um, and either, and this is where fighting out this, this one V one with another character way away from the rest of the team, um, is just not going to be very beneficial because, um, while you're doing this, the rest of your team is losing the fight. So, yeah. Alright, I'm about to leave you, Trash. Come on. Sorry, I'm Bastion. Bastion. Bastion down. Nice. Okay, the, the ranks just got it. Oh my goodness, is there a... So that was huge. Um, that fight I thought was lost, but it looks like... You guys are back in it. You just killed their Reinhardt. They rezzed their Bastion, though. So let's see if you guys can deal with the Bastion before um, he wrecks the team at this point. Bastion revives. Bastion, Bastion. 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 Get the Mercy. Get the Mercy off of him. Keep chasing me. Sorry behind. Sorry behind. And, uh, we've been doing it all day. Yeah. Dang. Well. Just and giggles. Having fun. Let's change this. So, again... Um, at this point, you and, and you should just 
get the hell out of there. As soon as you saw trash, you saw unique go down to the Bastion ult, and then th this is a lost fight at this point. Um, I don't know if the fight was lost by the time you popped Valkyrie. I think it. I think you were still in the fight when you popped Valkyrie, so it's fine. Um, but like right here, don't even heal Cyborg at this point. Just damage booster so she can get some ult charge before she dies. And then just have her die as quickly as possible. Right now, you guys need to die as fast as possible so you can get back to spawn and get another fight going. <clears throat> it's just us. It's just me. <laughs> and yeah, stop stop healing your Torb. Just let the Torb die. You all need to die here so you can stop trickling into the point. Otherwise, um, they're just going to keep eating time away off the clock as you guys keep trickling into the point. <laughs> Drake, Kent. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Uh, hello, you were my suggested, and I decided to check you out. Well, hi, Nightwing. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Ah. Uh, if you win the next right. match, maybe I'll get Overwatch. It looks like a really fun yeah, game. Yeah, I was gonna say. It it really is a lot of fun. It's Bastion's behind us, especially like if you have really? a lot of friends that like play. Punish it. him! Punish him! Ooh, there's a lot of people in here. Yeah. Indeed. I have ult, by the way. Ah, oh, stupid. That Bastion's Discord. Uh, we are we not too sweet yeah. to you. That Just your amazing pants, giant pandas, yeah. and red shirt. Red pandas are awesome. Yeah. I'm glad that you like the red pandas. Where is everyone? Yeah, we're like completely dispersed. We should get together. Yeah. Yeah, let's. So that's a good call out there to get everybody together. Um, you guys are kind of spread apart. Um, you're constantly picking fights and only half the team is going to pick that fight. Um, you guys are very much a kind of death ball, um, composition here. And so you guys should stay as a death ball. Um, when you separate into two smaller death balls, it's really easy for the enemy team to either keep you distracted or for the enemy team to just pick you off one by one. That that was, that was... But from your aspect, you are doing a great job. You are staying with your team. You're staying behind your tanks. You're staying behind your shields. Um, you're doing a very good job of staying alive. Um, and so from your standpoint, I don't think you're doing anything wrong per se, other than uh, when the fight is lost, um, just either getting out of there as quickly as possible or dying as quickly as possible. It's okay. Got this. Uh, or not get, but beg my mom and dad. <laughs> well, like I said, wait till Let's the, the free up. weekend to try it for yourself first to see if it's something that you want to do. Okay, Bastion is discorded. Because it's well, different well, watching well, somebody well, than well, it's like well, playing well. it. So that's a questionable Valk there. You Valk there and the fight was already kind of looking lost. Um, so unless you're able to like res um, somebody and c somehow come back and win this, um, I am going to assume that this is a lost fight looking at the kill feed and looking at how low health everybody is on your team right now. Oh, uh, Ryan's almost dead. Ryan's almost dead. Oh. Yeah, he's, he got healed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's lovely to see you. Uh, I'm doing good after a day of crime fighting. I just want to watch some Twitch. It's oh. oh, my apple. Liger's not in here still. Nightwing, which which Robin is that? Is that, is that Damien? Okay, so the bathroom's ah. discarded. Is it Damien that becomes Nightwing? No, it's not Damien. It's, uh, oh no! Hey, I want Unfortunate. So, you were able to pull out of that again, um, which is great. Uh, you're already at almost 50% to your ult there. Um, but again, you guys just got absolutely slammed um, with that tire. Now, you guys are down your main or one tank and one healer. Uh, the enemy team is down a DPS and a healer. 
Um, so this is still a very winnable fight here. Um, so I, I'm okay with you sticking with your team here to try and uh, win this fight. So let's see what happens. I wonder if you can tell what my favorite animal is. Is it a panda? All right, let's go on this point. There you go. Now you guys are up. You guys should be able to win this as long as you can kill this. Nice. Point, 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 point. Kill that bastion. So right. now. I say sarcastically. <laughs> I see you're trying something. Oh, yeah, I was trying something. It's an homage to Madam Gandalf. Bastion's discordive. He's one. Ooh. Couldn't kill him. Alive. It's nice. Oh, Dick Grayson, the original Roman. Damn it! <laughs> I would have eventually figured it out. I don't know why Damien was the only one Bastion's I could fucking think of. No, oh, he's talking to me. Leave me alone, White Star. The server's down. That was unfortunate. That was a ballsy, ballsy hammer down right there. Um, and we'll see what Trash Panda is able to do with his visor here. Um, but this fight does not look too good. Um, but uh, it's still. Potentially winnable. Um, let's see. Because you guys are. No, yeah, you guys won the fight. You guys won the fight because you just got the point. So that's pretty awesome right there. Um, I think uh, the enemy Ryan was a little too aggressive there. Um, and it's a good thing you still have your Valk as well. So that's awesome. I knew it was a fish. 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 Yes. Yes. We got this, Sam. We got this. Heroes you got die. this, Travis. Okay, we Make can push. Boom. They're all grouped up. Ow. Wait, where are they? Get this, Zarya. Get this, Zarya. is cool and all, but he's too much of a hothead for my liking. Wow, oh, most bad. definitely. Alright, we can do this. So that was a questionable Valk there. You guys were already winning. Um, and I don't think your Valk really added a whole lot of value to that situation there. Um, so that was a questionable Valk. Um, but um, we'll see how it goes. He's kind of a dick. Jason Todd is kind of dead. Jason Todd is dead. Jason Todd was one of my friend's like favorite Robins yeah. and was like really upset about his death. I'm sorry, Nightwing or go home. Say Nightwing or go home. Yeah. That's what they're saying, Nightwing's the best. Alright, Dick Grayson's yes. the best. Dick Grayson's the best, but anyone else is just pathetic. One of my favorite... The Nightwing, um... Whatchamacallit, uh, figure? Oh, alright. Papdoll? Oh, damn. Alright. Why don't you to use my hammer? Uh, one of my favorite... So, that's a big ol' reset right there. We... That was a humongous team wipe right there. Which is actually pretty good for you guys. That means you will all get to respawn one more time um, and do one last push here. Things is Dick Grayson talking with Starfire, and she asks, "How does one get Dick from Richard?" And he says, "You ask nicely." And it, I love it. It's like my favorite uh, yeah. thing. <laughs> oh no! Wait, uh, Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's an interesting trance there, but um, again, I'm gonna focus on your game play, not your other teammates' game play. Yeah, 40 seconds. We gotta go. Touch the point if you cool. But I'm hot. We've got. That's awesome. So you are damage boosting the right person right now. Trash Panda is popping off, just wrecking the enemy team right now. And it's also because you are damage boosting him. And so he's doing a ton more damage to the enemy right now. This is great right here. Run over this. Touch the point if you have. Oof. Oof. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, Vary's behind. She's low, she's low. Liger! Building a great love triangle. We can do it, we can do it. Watch behind us. No! 
I got you. Damn it. I was I was ulting. Well, a little late for that now. Oh my goodness. No, motherfucker. Okay. Thank God it still gave my ult. I was gonna be very pissed off. Great use of your ult there. Um, it's time to finish the fight off. Um, getting your Valk off here is going to allow you to win this fight. Oh, nice guys. Then Tim Drake and Stephanie Brown. Uh, yes, See? Very nice. Very nice attack there. Um, so. Um, I don't see a lot of things that I would change about your Mercy gameplay. Um, I think your Mercy gameplay is great. Um, just maybe evaluate your ult usage. Um, only use your Valk when you're in a fight that you can, that is still being contested that hasn't necessarily been won or lost yet. Um, too often you're either popping Valk when you've already won the fight or when you've already lost the fight. Um, and it's giving your team no value, unfortunately. Um, so um, that would be something I'd recommend there. Other than that, um, getting the hell out of there when you've lost the fight so you can regroup with your team or just dying as quickly as possible. Um, is That will help out a lot too because your team probably would have finished the attack faster if they hadn't have kept trickling in um, through several points of that. So, yeah, but ultimately a good match. Um, we are going to watch one more defense. Um, since you guys went into overtime and the enemy team had a little over a minute left, uh, they will get one more chance to get one tick on the first point to win the map. So let's watch your last defense. Stephanie Brown, I do remember. Oh. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fast forward real quick. So. But if you're gonna ask me, my brain's gonna like shut off, and it's like, who? Can I get up? What? Oh, it's the freaking the. I uh, what is the? Uh, mm. okay, well, where do you wanna? Where are we setting up? That uh, girl. Sure what is the bat girl that? Y'all stay on. Y'all stay on point. I'll I'll be up up here. Okay, okay. Who's All the right. guy that does the? Uh, and Gordon. Then we have to stick together. Yeah. So let's go. Let's go over here. What is her name? Okay, so um, I did not get a chance to see the comp, but uh, we have an Arissa and a Bastion, and we have you on Mercy, so you guys are running a pharmacy here. Um, I can't tell who that is there. It almost looks like a Brigida. Um, so uh, let's let's see how this goes. Yeah, that's a Brigida and a Hanzo. So a little bit of an iffy. You are running. Um, I, I don't mind the healer combination of Mercy and Brigida. Um, only having Arissa as a tank means as soon as your Arissa goes down, your team is probably going to collapse in on itself. So not a huge fan of the triple DPS. Um, but that's nothing that you can really do. You're going to do your best to be mercy and heal your team and damage boost, uh, who you think is being most effective here. Um, but given the comp, I'm not too optimistic. This is going to work out very well. Barbara Gordon. Yeah. I wanted to do her bad girl. That's the bad girl that I want to do. Oh my God. Where are they going? Barbara Gordon, we, we, we all figured it out. Uh, you hear about the enemy and uh and Batman down. No. So that's good. Uh, you guys already picked off the soldier on the enemy team, so that's that's a very good start. And not. I like that you were damage boosting the Bastion so that he could break down the barrier as fast as possible. And already they are down now. Their healer, one of your healers, and one of their DPS. So this is looking pretty good for your first fight. Careful. Uh yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, and uh, your your Brigida over there is is not doing much for your team. Um, Brigida can only really heal those that are he's close to, and being solo over there is not doing anything. But that's not your fault. You're doing your best to keep your team alive here on the the right side of the point, which I don't mind holding here on the right side of the point. I think this is a very viable place to hold uh, for point A. Well, so much for that. Yeah, no, Kent doesn't listen.
They just rezzed their healer. Um, you guys are now down to solo healing with Mercy. Um, and by the time he gets back to point, it's only going to be probably like 20 seconds left on the clock. So this is not looking too good for you guys. Um, but again, they are down um, one DPS who should be coming back to, into the fight in the next few seconds. So uh, let's see how well you guys deal with that. Uh, Joker behind you, Unique. Yep. That was a very good call out. Very, very good call out. Allowed her to just melt that junk rat. I don't know what that junk rat was thinking, uh, trying to peek around that corner like that. That was that was a bad play on their part. Also, Zen. No. Unfortunate. That was a huge charge, um, and that eliminated such a humongous part of your dps there nothing you really could have done there um i didn't see that ryan coming so um it's not like that was something you could alert them to and i don't think they would have had time to gone into sentry mode anyway no, baby. Whoa. oh and that's probably game over right there that's a huge shatter um and now it looks like he is going for the healer um he knows that if he gets rid of mercy you can't res you can't heal and the rest of his team is going to just mop up the rest of you so let's i, I have a feeling this is how the game ends but let's see how it goes yeah so now you're down your healer your baguette is probably not going to get back on point in time um your bastion's down your hanzo's down all you have left is a pharah and an orissa and i think that orissa yeah that orissa is at like two bars uh that orissa is going to die soon so this does not look too good for you guys how did you get all my money back but yeah i want i want to do a barbara gordon cosplay what if there was such a thing as purple red Got a point, got a point, got a point, got a point. No, no one's even there. Yeah, no. Yeah, so that's a GG's. That's a GG's. Um, let me go back to that. Hi, guys. Uh, it's a long video, 51 minutes. Holy crap. That's a long video. Uh, so it's going to take a while to upload to the YouTubes. But um, that was a very, that was a much better game to coach, to um, review. And, um, Haley, this is for you. Uh, your game is good. Um, you are, um, I know you're not a fan of competitive because of the saltiness, the toxicity, things like that. Um, but I would put you at, um, when you're playing Mercy, um, you're like gold level, even in platinum level Mercy. Um, you stay alive, you stay behind your tanks. Um, and you um, you do a very good job of all that. You make some very good call outs as well. Um, again, the only things I could really recommend is when you lose the fight, just die. Uh, don't linger, don't heal your team, just, just die. Um, too often what'll happen is, is they're gonna stagger your deaths and then suddenly on the next fight, your tanks that died in the beginning of that fight are already back into the next fight with no healer and then it's just this horrible staggering effect of your team dying one by one by one because they can't group up and a big part of grouping up is having everybody die um as quickly as possible um so something to keep in mind is to do that and then other than that is your valk usage so try to um only use your valk in fights that are being contested that where it doesn't feel like you have already lost the fight or a fight where you feel like you've already won it um the best time i would say to pop valk is popping it um let's say the enemy team gets a pick um and that pick is on somebody that is in a um, resable spot like you can hide behind a shield while you res um, but let's say your res is on cooldown. So you pop Valk, you res, and then you immediately get the rest of your team back into the fight with your Valk. Um, uh, or just popping it right before, like if you see that the enemy team is all grouped up and ready to fight and you're about to hit them, that would be a great time to hit Valk as well. That way you can damage boost your front line and they can just melt the enemy team, hopefully. Um, so that would be the other thing I would focus on. Your May was pretty good. Um, there were a couple of times you were a little overly aggressive. 
um, and it cost you, unfortunately. Um, I wouldn't say your May lost you the first point or anything like that, um, but um, there were just a few little tactical errors there. Your Pharaoh was very good. Um, work on your flight mechanics, so work on uh, feathering your uh, right click and your space bar so that you can stay in the air longer. Um, and but ultimately I thought your shot calling like where you were putting your rockets was solid um, and I think your Pharaoh is pretty good I would I would put your Pharaoh at like a at a high silver level um, so again if you can get past the saltiness and the toxicity which um, to to be honest at the lower levels of competitive um, especially if you just want to pop into it as a solo queue um, or even if you want to go in as with a group just mute everybody else um just i i hate to say this but communication uh voice comms at the lower levels really doesn't matter um what matters at the lower levels is playing your game filling for the roles that you need having a decent team comp and you will you will climb out of those ranks um and if you don't want to deal with the toxicity and the saltiness don't go into voice chat and just mute the text chat and you'll you'll probably be happy you'll just be able to um you know hang out with your viewers maybe just chat with the folks that you're grouped up with and comp and um and have a better time with it so uh keep at it um that was a this game was considerably more fun to watch and to review than the one i did last time uh, Ilios, that game was a little bit of a roll, um, and so this is a much better game to kind of review people's uh, stuff on. So um, with that, guys, um, I'm going to call it a VOD there, uh, a VOD review there. We've been doing this for 56 minutes. This is a long freaking video. Um, I hope you enjoy this. I really maybe need to just keep working on um, maybe making this more concise and doing a better job of editing um, what I need to review, things like that. Um, but I do plan on doing a VOD review of this particular game from Unique Dreams perspective, uh, from Kent Hyde, which is, he was the Draco Storm's perspective. And also from um, Cyborg Pizza's per perspective as well. Um, and see if I can point out any other things that might be going wrong there as well. So, uh, yeah. But um, with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please drop me a follow. Um, I'm at twitch.tv slash applejew84. Uh, if you enjoyed Haley here and Oliver talk with Batman and Robin and all the other shenanigans, she's an awesome streamer. I highly recommend you go check her out. Um, you can find her at twitch.tv slash thegreathaley. I will include a link to all of that in the description below. Um, but with that, guys, I hope you have a great one, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.